Hey guys, welcome back. So I am super excited and I wanted to share with you guys something that I got in the mail recently. I have been seeing book boxes everywhere for the longest time and there's so many options to choose from and so I thought I would finally take the plunge and order one for myself and I wanted to share with you guys what's inside of it. Um, I haven't opened it at all. You can see that it's still sealed and um, yeah, I thought this one would actually be a really good first one to start out with. One, because it is a mini box, so it was less expensive, less commitment, and two, it's Christmas themed. So, I mean, this time of year in general, any kind of gift is going to be exciting, and so I felt like this was kind of like an early Christmas present that I got in the mail because I get to unwrap it, I don't have to wait until the 25th. So, without further ado, let's see what's inside of this okay so before we get started you probably want to know which one that I got and I got the once upon a book club box like I said it is the mini box which they have one for Christmas obviously and they also have one for New Year's I didn't order that one again because well I was impatient but the Christmas one came along and I thought it would be perfect I have seen these boxes on Instagram for a long time. Um, like I said, there are a lot of boxes out there and I could never really decide which one was right for me. And I would just hate to get something and A, either not like the book or B, not like the swag that comes with it. Um, it was actually between this one and Book of the Month, which is, I'm sure, something that you guys have heard of. But the thing that kind of pushed me over the edge to give the Once Upon a Book Club box a try is because it comes with extra goodies. So what I love about this one is in addition to it coming with those extra goodies, they tie it into when you're actually reading the book. So there's usually a couple of different um, gifts, I guess you can call them, that they include in the box. And what's really fun about it is that they will have you open them while you're reading the book. So instead of just simply opening the box and then you see everything and it's separate, um, from the actual reading experience, though oftentimes they're related. With the Once Upon a Book Club box, you will get certain things that they tell you to open on page 24, open this when you get to page 100, which I think is such a cute idea. It really makes um, the reading experience immersive and then it kind of prolongs that gratification of opening up stuff. So that said, talking about gratification of opening up stuff, let us dive into this. So I told myself that if I liked this box, I may actually try out a few more months. So let's see. Okay, so first things first, um, I will say, and to be honest, I'm not sure if it's only because this was a special box as opposed to their regular boxes, but for this particular one, I knew ahead of time what the book would be, and I really like that, to be honest. As much as I think it's fun to kind of get a package in the mail, I'm such a mood reader that I would hate to spend the money and only end up with a book that I'm kind of so-so about. So I knew ahead of time what book this would be. I was totally on board with reading it, so that just makes it a lot better that I'm not getting a book that's just gonna collect dust on my shelf. Okay, so here we go. First up, we've got this cute little card. It is, I believe, just kind of their intro card. It's lying right here on top. Um, but it's, I mean, it's really cute, and I think that you could actually put it on the fridge if you want to be festive, or if you're into journaling and scrapbooking, you could put this in your journal or cut it up. It says on the front, believe in the magic of Christmas, how appropriate. And then in the back, it's just a little informative information. Um, there's a holiday book club chat, which is super fun. Come join us, cozy up with a cup of hot cocoa, and meet us online to discuss the book and open the gifts. Oh man, that's so adorable. And that takes place on Friday, December 20th on Facebook. Oh, super fun. So already loving this. Next, we have a gift card. Wow, that is super nice. This one is for brightsellers.com, which is, it looks like a, oh, wine in a good book. <laughs> that's adorable. 
Um, it looks like it is a wine company, maybe a wine subscription service, I would guess, but a $45 gift card is not bad. Um, obviously, I'm not sure how much their prices usually are, but $45 off of anything is a hell of a deal. So that's cool. Oops, that's going to come in handy for those nights where you do kind of want to unwind with a cup of wine. I didn't mean to make a pun, but there it is. Okay, so as for the actual book, people, um, we have A Royal Christmas Wish by Lizzie Shane. There's a sticker on here that says it's Once Upon a Book Club book selection for obviously 2019. And, um, I'll tell you guys really quickly what the book is about. It is a Hallmark Publishing imprint, which <laughs> I'll say right now, I am a huge fan of Hallmark movies. I know that a lot of people think that they're problematic or cliche or corny, all that jazz. I don't care. I love them. I love them. I think they're super adorable. I have been binge watching Hallmark Christmas movies ever since they started playing them the day after Halloween. So. This is right up my alley. Okay, so it's been a while since I read what this book is about, so let me just kind of tell you guys really quickly. Um, Jenny knows she isn't the princess type. Yeah, she's friendly and caring, but she's clumsy and lack of self-confidence. Um, glass slippers would only make her trip. I see they're doing kind of a Cinderella comparison there. Um, when Dom, the cute guy she runs into in Central Park, turns out to be the Prince of San Noel, she figures he must not be her happy ever after. But a mysterious countess grants Jenny's one wish and she finds herself married to this handsome prince. Unfortunately, at the stroke of midnight on Christmas night, her life will go back to normal. In funny and touching ways, Jenny navigates the palace's traditions as best as she can, but even as she grows closer to Dawn, the clock is ticking. With love and a little holiday magic, could she somehow make the enchantment last forever? So I was right. It is a Cinderella remake. Um, it's contemporary, it sounds like. And I mean, it really checks all the boxes for a Hallmark um, imprint. So I'm totally good with that. I will say I don't typically... Um, actually, I don't think I've ever read anything royal related. Um, sure, I have seen those holiday Hallmark movies that deal with princes and princesses, etc. But I've never actually read a book. So hopefully this one I will enjoy as kind of my first foray into it. Like I said, it did sound interesting, hence why I decided to pick up the book in the first place. But this is super cute. Um, I have read a lot of um, holiday reads within the last few weeks and I actually just switched over to a crime thriller because I needed a quick break so I think this is coming at the perfect time because once I'm done finishing up my book of gruesome murders I can hop into this get back into the Christmas spirit and um, hopefully finish it in time for the online book chat on the 20th okay so here we go we've got two little gifts like i said this one is a mini box so i believe the regular boxes come with um maybe three or four gifts i'm not sure but this one has two so um we've got this thin cute package that is nicely wrapped and you can see here like i was telling you guys it tells you to wait till you get to a certain page number before opening it so this one um i'm gonna open on page 68 which Oh, luckily, they're not making me wait too long, so I can speed through to page 68 and open this. And this next one, oh man, it actually feels really hefty. Um, medium sized box, again, cute wrapping, and it's not the same, but they coordinate. So I really like how they put thought into, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, guys. I really like how they put thought into these, and it's not just um, generic paper all across the board. So for this one, I have to wait to page 272, which let's see, this book is, oh, basically, oh, it's 280 pages long. So right when I get to the end. And while I was flipping, I noticed that they have within the book a little sticky note reminder to open your gift. That's so cute. Can you guys see that? Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about this. Let's see if they have it. Oh, they do. For page 68, they have one as well. Oh, adorable. Adorable. Okay, so I'm super jazzed about this. Um, 
I will keep you guys posted one way or the other. Well, probably in my wrap up, I believe, but I'll keep you guys posted on what the gifts are because I'm dying to know, but I refuse to look at them before I get to the page number in the book. Um, yeah, so that pretty much wraps it up. No pun intended. Um, I'm super excited about this. Like I said, I wanted to try out their mini box first because I have heard so many great things and I have been stalking their Instagram for this, um, once upon a book club and oh let me show you guys really quick because i forgot to show you when i first opened the box but what i will say hooked me the first time that i spotted them on instagram was their packaging oh my gosh it looks like a book which is super super adorable you can see here with the um kind of imprint here it looks like a thick fairy tale classic type of book which is just I'm a sucker for great packaging. And I will say, um, while this one is Christmas or holiday themed, their normal boxes come in two versions, a adult box and a young adult box. So depending on what book you want, what genre you prefer, or um, I guess just whatever you're in the mood for, you can pick from there, you can pick both. Um, but yeah, I, I'm in love with this. I did pay for this myself, but when I was ordering, I had to get some help from customer service because I had issues checking out and they were super helpful and responsive in getting me squared away right away. So um, I, it's just a win in my book. As long as the book is good, then it's definitely 100%. But so far, we're off with a bang and I'm super excited. So okay guys that'll about wrap it up i guess let me know in the comments below if um any of this stuff sounds interesting if you would be interested in ever checking out a box like this or if you have actually subscribed to the once a club once upon a book club box also let me know if you have ever tried or currently have any subscriptions to uh book subscription services or boxes i'd love to know kind of your personal opinions on what the differences are, weighing the pros and cons, because um, I'm always looking to maybe pull the trigger on getting one of these. And um, if they're great, then I probably won't need much convincing. So that'll about do it for here. And until next time, guys, bye.